For specifically about Poland, yes? Yes. Yeah. So I think one of the biggest challenges that we have in deploying 5G is site, site, site. It's not just 5G, it's 4G as well, but it's the site, site problem. And today, typically, throughout the world, and in Poland, of course, you have the tower, the cell site. That's a very capital intensive cost to construct, to find it, acquire it, lay fiber to it as backhaul, and also to provide power to it. So these are the challenges that we have at the moment. The opportunity, I believe, is, you know, Poland, sort of new, if I can say, you know, after the war, it's been rebuilt largely, especially Warsaw. So you have very modern infrastructure. Where are the people? The people where the power is. The power is where the people is, electricity. Where is, where is the light? The light is where the people is, the sink. Light, power, sight, people. Oh, we need telecom, right? So it makes a lot of synergies to maybe use the same lamppost to have 5G integrated in it because lampposts are all along the road. So if you want a connected car or you want to have autonomous driving or you want to have connected ambulances to have all these opportunities and benefits for society in the future, you need the roads to be connected, not the people living everywhere. You need very specifically all the roads to have very good connectivity, for example. By sharing this infrastructure, you reduce the operating costs. The power is there, the backhaul is provided and the site hopefully is charged by the government less than what a commercial enterprise might charge. So this is a very good deployment opportunity and I think one that Poland might even be unique in and that, that means the take up, the deployment rate could be done much more quickly and in a different way by thinking differently.